Hmm, why are we having such trouble getting online? Well, it says here we might be having a problem with our download. Mm, the man can only eat so much fiber. Yeah, oh, and then it says maybe our bits aren't streaming fast enough. At our age, we're lucky they're streaming at all. <laughs> <laughs> morning, today is Wednesday. It is the 6th of March, the day after Super Tuesday. And as I mentioned yesterday, <clears throat> Nikki Haley has decided to suspend her campaign. The money would dry it up. That's all there is to it. You're not going to put your money on a dead horse, and basically that's what her campaign has become. So now this has come down to a two-man race. And you are going to see the most dirty, vile, backstabbing campaign over the next eight months or so that you've ever seen in your life. Joe Biden, the President of the United States, is a very vindictive man. He is surrounded by vindictive people who love power, cherish power, and are not going to give power up. He knows that he is viewed as too old. He is too old. Judging by what we have seen over the last two plus years, he can't handle it. Tomorrow, when they have the State of the Union address, the media is going to rally behind him, saying about how vital he is, how vibrant he is, how with it he is, how smart he is, how lucky we are to have Joe Biden as President of the United States, and they are going to overlook the crisis at the border, shrinkflation, inflation, the war on our gas companies, the war on the oil industry taking away your range. Hamas, Ukraine, China, they are going to ignore all of that and tell us what a great vibrant person he is. And get ready for a whole campaign of that. Because he has the Department of Justice weaponized against Donald Trump. Because if he can't beat him at the ballot, which he can't, if he can't beat him with the truth, which is something Democrats never want to hear. He's going to put him in jail. The only thing that's left is assassination. And I don't put anything that behind these people. So you're going to see an extremely dirty campaign. Congratulations to Nikki Haley for staying as long as she did, but why she did, I have no idea. Our borders are Kamala Harris. How's that working out? She is a czar of gun violence. How's that working out? She giggles a lot. She came out and said that Israel should immediately start a ceasefire. They murdered children. Hamas sexually abused and are still abusing women. Slaughtered people. They've been after the Jews, for centuries, they dug over 300 miles of tunnels to kill all the Jews. And she wants to have Israel agree to a ceasefire so Hamas can basically rejuvenate themselves. Hamas has to be totally obliterated. I have a suggestion for Kamala Harris, Joe Biden, everybody calling for a ceasefire. Let the Jews go after Hamas, like the Democrats and the weaponized Department of Justice is going after Donald Trump. They'll be out of there in a matter of days. It's going to be quite an election. It's going to be quite a campaign. Just remember this one thing as you're watching the State of the Union tomorrow. Number one, he's not running the country. Number two, as Butch Cassidy said to the Sundance Kid, every day you get older. It's the law. Watch the Hottie Boomy podcast on the Hottie Boomy channel on YouTube. Various trailers around. Make you think. Give you some ideas. Whatever you do, whatever camp you're in, vote. That's what makes America great. We'll make America great again, again. God bless you. 
God bless the United States of America.